Uh, and it looks like the rain, the on and off rain we've been getting is going to continue. It will. Let's bring in Vanessa Murdoch. She's in for Lonnie Quinn to tell us a uh, you did, wait, you, during your last update, you did say that some of them are moving out, right? Yeah, so Putting activity is much less impressive than it was earlier today. But we still have a couple of storm cells that we're tracking out there. So not completely out of the woods, but much quieter than had you looked at the radar around noon today. Let's go ahead and give you a look live outside. First off, we're seeing a little sunshine off of the buildings and the skyline. It is 76 and cloudy over the city. As we look forward, what can you expect? A few more storms tonight certainly should be anticipated, especially east of the city looks to be most active north too quieter for the next 48 hours but listen we're still at risk we are stuck in this hot and humid air mass we cannot rule out storms over the next couple of days friday looks like our best bet especially early in the day as of now then for your weekend how about timing looking at right now the potential for a rain free less humid weekend precip chance is moving forward we're going to put tomorrow and thursday 25 percent chance as we make our way over Overnight Thursday into Friday, we're going to up it to 60. 60% and again Friday looking like the most active of the next three days. Saturday we have a 10% chance on here. I just told you rain free weekend, but early Saturday there could be a little bit of lingering wet weather. Then on Sunday the forecast is dry and actually Monday is looking spectacular as well. Now let's talk humidity. As mentioned, it is going to be very humid still pressing forward. Tonight oppressive dew points are in the 70s and really pushing toward the mid 70s right now. Tomorrow maybe slightly more comfortable but still just damp. Thursday, similar story. Friday, notice the blue arrow on Saturday. This is decreasing humidity as we head through your weekend. It should feel more comfortable. Not promising crisp fall air, but I am telling you it should feel a whole lot better out there by Saturday afternoon and evening. As we look at the current satellite and radar picture, our focus is on two storm cells. One up in Ulster County, another heading toward the south shore of Long Island. We're going to take our focus there right now. Just a couple of lightning bolts with this as it tracks off in the northeasterly direction at about 25 miles per hour. As we time it out, it will continue to trek over the island, especially skimming Fire Island. So Long Beach getting hit hard now as we move forward in your forecast. For those of you in Islip, expect some heavy rainfall pushing forward. Freeport, it will be in your neighborhood 555 as we look at Uniondale, 6 o'clock, around 620 in Lindenhurst, West Islip, closer to 630 and Deer Park, similar story. But what we've noted is it was very intense as it came closer to land, and now we're seeing more of a moderate rainfall out of that particular storm cell. Another storm that really just kind of boiled up quickly, and now we're starting Starting to see it fizzle again. This one here at Ulster County will be crossing the throughway, continuing its track in the northeasterly direction. Of course, torrential rain, gusty winds, and some lightning with that one as well. We're going to fast forward the forecast until tomorrow morning, keeping note that tonight until about 11 o'clock, we could still see a couple of stray storms, but again, quieting down, generally speaking. Tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., a few more clouds. Some showers might pop by afternoon. There's that 25% of a shower or storm. As we take it into Thursday now, similar story for Thursday. Again, by afternoon, we could see some storms bubbling up, but neither day a washout. It is Thursday night and a Friday that we're going to watch as some stronger activity begin to move into the region. For tomorrow, highs will be in the mid 80s. It's muggy. Again, that chance for some pop up storms tomorrow. Not a washout. If you're going to hit the beach tomorrow, a low to moderate risk of lightning. Low risk in the morning, moderate risk in the afternoon. Your rip current risk is moderate as well. Not a perfect beach day per se, but hey, I think uh, you'll be able to get some hours in, especially early in the day. Thursday is 87, still sticky, 25% chance. Friday, more active, 83. And now the weekend, less humid, more sunshine, fewer storms. In fact, none at all is what we are forecasting. Temps will be in the mid and upper 80s then. That's different from our past weekends. We've been on a stretch, haven't we? we it's been an incredible stretch, stretch of flooding yeah. rains every weekend. Oh, boy. Thank you, Vanessa. Yes. 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 Vanessa, we like that.